Hi, how are you doing today, friend? It's me, Mr. Rob. And Eleanor. And we're here with your friend, Otto, too. There he is. Oh, we're gonna do some fun stuff today. Did you have a fun weekend? I hope so. Did you have a fun weekend? I sure did. Awesome. Did you have a fun weekend, Otto? Yeah, I did. What's your favorite thing that you did this weekend, Eleanor? I thought it was really fun to go outside and ride my skateboard. What did you do that was fun? That sounds great. Well, you know what we do first, so let's plant a seed and check in on the seeds that we already planted. Yes, we've got some very exciting things going on. Look at this. We have our eight seeds that we've planted so far, and I see one, two, three, four, and five of them. Will you show this seed to our friends, Mr. Yes, Otto? Yes, I definitely will. Thank you. Look at that. That is the seed from day number six. It is growing, but the seed from day number five is still asleep under the soil. And today, should we count them together? Will you help? Super. Ready? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Today will be number nine, but it's empty. Can we plant a seed in an empty cup? We sure can. No, you put the, the dirt in there first. But before that, I am going to write a number on the cup, the number we just counted up to, number nine. Circle, get a line. Number nine. Right? Yeah, so it must be true. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to add what we're going to plant our seed in, which is dirt. Let's Good. count the scoops, friend. All right. One. Two. And I'll do a little scoop for three. There you go. Do you do planting at your house too? Hmm. All right, I should I get the seeds today? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get one, two tiny radish seeds. We've talked about our radishes before, how the, there's a red part underground and a green part above the ground you can eat the whole thing. All right, we dropped them into a little hole that I made and now I'm covering it up. And now it's time to water our plants. So let's count while we water. Will you help please? All, All right. right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine cups with dirt and seeds have been watered and some of the seeds are growing into radish plants. I'm really excited to see how these turn out, friends. So am I. Well, we were talking about the colors of our radish plants, how there's a red part underneath and a green part up above. And I was thinking that that makes me think about colors. Red is a color. Yeah. Green is a color. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should do a little art project that uses colors together. Would sure. that be a good plan? Okay, let's do it. Um, this is something you can do at home, but you, you'll need a grown up to help uh, because we're going to use these. This is called food coloring, and it's something that maybe you've used when you were making a cake. Yeah. to change the color of frosting, or maybe if you've ever done something called dyeing eggs. I bet some of us will do that pretty soon. Do you think we'll dye some eggs? I think we will. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I have one, two, three containers. I'm gonna put one, two, three drops of red in this container. I'm going to put one, two, three drops of blue in that container. And I'm going to put one, two, three drops of the yellow in that container. Now, did you know 
that these three colors are very special, blue and red and yellow. If you mix blue and red together, they turn into a different color called purple. And if you mix red and yellow together, they turn into a different color called, do you know? Orange. Nice. And if you mix yellow and blue together, that makes another color too. Do you know what it is? Maybe Otto will tell us. Uh, I think it's green. And I think you got it just right. All right, Eleanor, would you add just a little bit of water from our pitcher that we use for watering the plants into these cups, please? Just a little teeny splash. Not a lot. That's enough. There you go. Look. Oh, now you can really see the color red and blue and yellow. Now we could paint on paper or we could paint on newspaper. Yeah. But I was thinking we'd use something that I bet a lot of houses have. Um, over here, I have some coffee filters right here. I'm going to give one to Eleanor. Thank you. And I'm going to keep one. Autumn, do you want to try? Sure, yes. Okay. And then I also have something that I bet a lot of us have at home. This is paper towel. Just like on our roll right there, this is paper towel that you might use to clean up a mess. But I thought today we'd use it for our art. Otto, do you want a paper towel or do you want a coffee filter? I think I'll have a coffee filter. All right, then I will give you this blue plate and I will take this pink plate. Uh, you know what? What we're gonna do to get our colors on to our different things, the paper towel and the coffee filters. I have these, these are called cotton swabs. Maybe sometimes you've heard people call them Q-tips. I'll put those there. What do you have there, Eleanor? I have paint brushes, and you've probably used these at Pilgrim School or at your house to paint with. Sure, and then there's one more thing over there. Straws. Now we're not gonna drink our, no. our little food coloring paints, but the straws have a circle at the bottom that can make a cool imprint on whatever we're using. I put some of our colors in three cups over there. Do you want to put those over here too? Yeah. All right, let's 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 go ahead and have some fun. I folded mine in half because I thought I wanted to see what would happen like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put in one of these cotton swabs and make little dots. I'm going to fold mine one, two three times cool and we'll see what happens when it's Otto, can you leave yours not folded and we'll see yeah. what that does i'll just leave mine open eleanor you folded yours three times is it still a circle no right now it is a triangle shape with a little rounded bottom right here cool some of maybe you might be in the triangle room <gasps> and you'll recognize Ooh. this shape yeah from your room i'm gonna try to use the back of this paintbrush to do some little Okay. Dots. Cool. I'm putting some blue next to the red. We'll see if that, maybe, maybe it will make purple. Remember we said blue and red together make purple. It is fun to watch the color go from my Q-tip into the material, the towel. It spreads out. Ooh, these colors are really pretty. I put some yellow next to my blue and I definitely see green there. Could I use that Q-tip after you, Mr. Rob? Oh, you bet. You know what I did? I did a neat thing. I put some yellow on top of a red and it definitely made orange. That's cool. All right, well, should we, uh, I think we should show uh, what we've got. I think so too. Here's mine. Look, I said I did a bunch of dots. I sure did. And look, if I unfold it, because remember I folded mine one time, <gasps> there are the same dots on both sides. That's fun. Can you show us yours, Otto? Yeah, I just kind of made a bunch of little shapes and now it looks like this. I like that. It's sort of like a picture. Yeah. And Eleanor, could we look at you unfolding yours? Yes. Ooh, those colors are really beautiful. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Are you? I am. Look, oh. you can see how it repeated what I put on um, yeah. to my little section. 
all over the rest of the filter. Yeah. I think it's really cool. I see a little bit of green between the yellow and the blue right there. Now, these are all still wet, but we did some to practice before. And look, they're still very pretty, even when they dry. And you know what? They look really lovely if you hang them in a window. So maybe you could try that at your house. Yeah, I might put this one in my room. Oh, well, that's a great idea. All right, let's clean up after this. Here. And then maybe, do you guys want to have a little snack? I'll take care of this. That sounds delicious. All right. All right. We've both just finished washing our hands, which means it's time for snack. And today for snack, we are going to be having these sweet peppers. Peppers are sometimes spicy, but these ones are nice and sweet. Now, if you can count with me, there are one, two, three peppers, and they're also three colors. And they've got little green stems. And now, um, like we talked about earlier with our craft, Red and yellow are two colors that mix together and make orange. So isn't that cool that we've got two of our primary colors making orange? So we are going to cut them up and show you the insides because we think the inside is really cool. Now we're using a sharp knife, but we're using it because we have permission from our dad. Sure do. All right, so let's cut right here and then maybe we can get a good view on the inside of the pepper. All right, oh, I'll cut a little further down because like we are talking about planting our radish seeds every day, we can also plant the seeds of a pepper and the seeds of a pepper are right inside of the pepper. And you usually, they're not the most delicious part. So usually we avoid them when we're eating them, but today we can avoid them while we eat them and we can plant them in their own little pot, which is really cool. So we're going to finish cutting this one up and then we can take some seeds out from the middle. All right. Now there's also other ways you can eat them. I know Otto and I both like to eat them where we just bite off the end. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So now you can see really clearly where all the seeds are on this pepper. It's like a little mountain of seeds. It is. So if we're going to plant our pepper, let's fill up a pot with some dirt. All right, we got one, two scoops, just two. Now I'll take our little pepper and Otto, do you want to take some seeds off sure. and put them in a little hole I just poked? Yeah, I'm going to grab three seeds. All right. One, two, three. All righty, just pop them in there. One. Two, three. All right, would you like to cover it up? All right. All right, and we'll do the same thing we do with our radishes, which is water them. All right, now while we finish our snack and we put away our pot, let's take a look at Freya and check in on her mushrooms. All right, it's your turn. Wow, those mushrooms are really growing over at Freya and Matilda's house. Yeah. I am very impressed. <whistles> Sometimes when I'm impressed with something, I whistle. <whistles> Can you whistle? <whistles> yep. Can you whistle? What about Otto? Yes, I can. <whistles> Whistling is a thing that seems very hard and takes lots of practice to learn how to do. But then when you figure it out, it's not so hard anymore. And it's a fun way to make music when you're all by yourself or even when you're with friends. Yeah. Speaking of friends, my friend Eleanor and I were thinking it could be fun to read a book about colors. It makes sense. This book is called My World of Color. And it was written by a woman named Margaret Wise Brown. You probably know some of her books, including The Runaway Bunny and Good Night Moon. She's written some really fun books. And I thought it would be fun to read this because she's talking about lots of colors. When we're reading this, each page is going to have a different color. 
Maybe you can find something in the room where you are that is that color and show it to us or just point at it while we're reading. It can be something we can do together. Sound like fun? Okay, we're gonna start now. I've got lots of colors on my sweatshirt. Oh, it's got dirt on it. My World of Color by Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Loretta Krupinski. Look for these mice. They're going to be on every page. Red, yellow, green, and blue. Blue is the door that takes you through into my world of color. Red as roses, red as red, red as the eyes in a rabbit's head. Orange as an orange tree, orange as a Bumblebee, orange as the setting sun, sinking slowly in the sea. Yellow as a daisy's eye, or a cabbage butterfly, or the stripes across a bee, and every dandelion I see. Green as a grasshopper. Green as the green of the greenest fern any rabbit has seen. Blue as the ocean. Blue as the sky. Blue as a bluebird flying by. Purple as Easter eggs, marbles, and jellies. Purple as martins. That's a type of bird with purple bellies. Purple as coal and a purple balloon. Purple as shadows of late afternoon. Brown as mahogany. Brown as a willow tree. Brown as old brooms, brown as a ship's boom. That's part of a ship that helps hold the sails. Black as trees, black as ink, black as the night where the moles... Black as trees, black as ink, black as the night where the dark moles think. There they are thinking. Gray as soft fur, gray as gray socks, gray as grandmother, gray as a fox. White as a dish, white as a fish. When you eat a white fish on a milk white dish. There are the mice peeking. Keep looking for them. Pink as pigs, pink as toes, pink as a rose or a rabbit's nose. Now I can color red as roses, orange as an orange tree, yellow as butter and bees, green as the grass, blue as the sky, purple as the locks, gray as a fox, black as a fly, pink as a pig, brown as a tree, white as the raging seas, red 
yellow, green, and blue. Blue is the door that takes you through into our world of color. Look at that. The mice are saying goodbye now from their colorful castle. I thought that was a fun book. What did you guys think? I thought it was fun too. Yeah, me too. That's great. Well, now it's time for us to be done. And you know we like to end with a song, but we had a problem. What was that? We could not find a color song. Yeah, not one that we really liked. So what did we do to solve our problem, Otto? We wrote a song. We wrote a song. Maybe if you listen a couple times, you could sing along with it. It's a simple song about... Colors. Okay, I'm gonna play my guitar, and will you guys sing? Yeah. Okay. Red as a fire truck, orange as a sunrise, yellow as a bumblebee, blue prints my friend's eyes, green blue. That's on me. We'll just, well, uh, should we just start from here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Red as a fire truck, orange as a sunrise, yellow as a bumblebee. Green as my friend's eyes, blue as a deep sea, purple as a ripe punk. That's the colors I see. You go and find some now. <laughs> Should we sing it one more time? Sure. Okay, let's try it again. Red as a fire truck, orange as the sunrise, yellow as a bumblebee. Green as my friend's eyes, blue as a deep sea. Purple as a ripe plum, that's the colors I see. Now you go and find some now. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye, friend. We'll see you soon. Between me and you. Red as a fire truck, orange as the sun. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Thanks for singing with me. Bye-bye.